Hi there, I'm Dr. Sarah, staff veterinarian for Life's Abundance. And in this episode of Pet Talk, I'm joined by my ever more frequent co-star, Alma. We are going to demonstrate how to check your dog's lymph nodes, an important organ in your dog's immune system. Lymph nodes filter out foreign particles and organisms from the blood and store white blood cells. As part of the front line of defense against illness, they are usually one of the first indicators of disease. When a part of the body becomes inflamed, the lymph node in that area will become swollen. There are several causes for swelling of a lymph node, ranging from a local infection to a vaccination. Lymph nodes can also become enlarged due to a cancer called lymphoma, which if caught early, generally has a pretty good prognosis for remission. Enlarged peripheral lymph nodes are generally one of the early warning signs of lymphoma, which is one of the reasons why Alma and I are going to teach you how to check your own dog's lymph nodes at home. Even though my guest star is a canine, you can do the same kind of exam on a cat because the lymph nodes are located in the same places. The peripheral lymph nodes are located in different areas of your dog's body. They're under her jaw, in front of her shoulders, under her armpits, in her groin area, and on the back of her legs. Lymph nodes are always bilateral, that is, they appear in pairs. They are just under the skin and normally are between the size of a pea and a small grape, depending on the size of the animal. In a dog almost size, lymph nodes are the size of a large pea, so you can imagine how small they are in a chihuahua. A swollen lymph node can grow to the size of a golf ball. So if in your examination you feel anything that seems overly large, your dog needs to see the vet for professional opinion. The mandibular lymph node is located under the jaw. To find them, run your fingers backwards along your dog's jaw until you get to the throat. Then gently grasp the skin of the neck and pull forward. You should feel a small pea-sized object slip through your fingers. That's the mandibular lymph node. If you have trouble finding it the first couple of times, don't worry. This is a tricky one um, because of all the other structures that are located in the neck, such as the salivary glands, which can be confused for lymph nodes. If you don't feel anything, that's generally a good sign. Next up are the prescapular lymph nodes located on the front point of the shoulder. As you can see here, you're looking for the bony point of your dog's shoulder just above this grasp the skin gently and pull forward like we did with the mandibular lymph nodes. Once again, you want to feel a pea-sized object slip through your fingers. That's the prescapular lymph node. Remember, if you don't feel it, that is totally okay. If you feel a larger, any larger lumps here, they should be checked out by your vet. You can check the lymph nodes under the armpit by running your hands along your dog's rib cage up under the front legs. These lymph nodes are difficult to find unless they're inflamed. So if you only feel ribs, that's a good sign. The next set of lymph nodes is in the groin area, um, but they're typically surrounded by fat and are notoriously difficult to find, even if they are enlarged. Also on female dogs, there is mammary tissue in this area, which can be easily confused with an enlarged lymph node. So we are going to skip that one. Last but not least, the popliteal lymph nodes are located on the back of the rear legs, opposite the knee. Using the point of the knee as a reference, run your fingers lightly up and down. Once again, you should detect a pea-sized nodule. Remember, lymph nodes are delicate internal organs, so they should be always treated gently. I recommend that you check your pet's lymph nodes monthly. That way you'll become familiar with their normal sizes and be able to track any changes. As I've already mentioned a couple of times, any enlargements should be examined by your vet. If you have difficulty finding the lymph nodes, don't be afraid to ask your vet to give you some pointers. Thank you so much for watching Pet Talk. 